Hi guys, this is Nathan from Rain Networks, and today we're going to talk a little bit about a product in our product portfolio that I have always found very interesting, kind of an up-and-coming product that um, I kind of feel like it doesn't get enough uh, airtime or it doesn't get enough uh, conversation. Um, it's a product called ESET Secure Authentication. Some people know it just simply as ESET two-factor authentication. Uh, but basically what it does is it allows an organization to add two-factor authentication into their network for a whole variety of different platforms. Um, so, for example, you can add two-factor authentication for Windows login. So if you want all of your users to have to put in um, an extra passcode outside of their Active Directory password, um, you can do that. You can use it for remote desktop. That's a very, very common application. Um, VPN is a very common uh, application of two-factor authentication. If you have mobile users that are, you know, uh, getting online at, you know, say an airport uh, Wi-Fi or Starbucks or whatnot, and you want them to, when they, you know, VPN into their network, they put in their Active Directory credentials and then an additional randomly generated passcode. That's a very popular application. Um, it works with Exchange, so, you know, uh, Outlook Web Access, um, SharePoint. There's a SharePoint component to it. So it's a lot of different ways that you can use two-factor authentication with this ESET Secure Authentication product. And it's a, it, the thing I like about it is that it's a really easy product to set up and use. So what we're going to go through today is, first of all, how to uh, set up the product. And then I'll, I'll do a quick little example of how we use it internally uh, with VPN connections. So let's start with the setup first. So right now I'm, I'm uh, logged into one of our uh, domain controllers. I've got the product downloaded here. It's a very small installation file. It's about 12 megabytes, uh, so very small. Uh, installation and you'll see here that the the installation from start to finish is literally it's, it's less than five minutes I haven't actually sat here and timed it out but it's very quick uh, first thing it does it goes through a quick little environment checklist just to make sure I've got domain admin privileges and uh, you know active directory membership etc cetera, etc cetera. let's go ahead and click next to that now it's gonna ask us here what do we want to install here so uh, you would almost always want to install these top two up here, the uh, management tools and the authentication server, kind of the backbone of the whole program. And then from here, you select the things that you want to actually do two-factor authentication with the program. So for us, we're going to do Windows login, uh, VPN, and remote desktop. So those are the, those are the ones I'm going to select there. Then we'll hit next. It'll again go through a little checklist. We'll hit next again, and voila, off it goes. Now, this piece of the installs is very quick. I mean, you know, if it takes more than, you know, five minutes on most machines, it's a it's a pretty surprising, surprisingly long install. Okay, so the install is complete, just that simple. So we now have ESET Secure Authentication installed and running on this server. Okay, so this is what the program looks like once you, you have it installed. As you can see, it runs in kind of a Microsoft Management Console uh, type framework. So this kind of look and feel should be pretty uh, familiar to most people that are used to uh, managing uh, Microsoft Windows Server. Um, over here on the left, we've got our tree here. So you can see on our... Uh, on our tree, when you click on the domain here, we've got, you know, it tells us our license info and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so pretty, pretty basic stuff here. If we go down in the list here under basic settings, I can kind of uh, tell it, you know, which applications uh, I want it to integrate with. And uh, this, this setting right here is kind of interesting. So this is uh, the name of our token, first of all. So this is what shows up in the cell phone app. And then you'll see here there's a setting where you can have, uh, when people open the application on their cell phone, they have to enter a additional PIN number to open the application. So I have that deselected right now. A lot of people do like that setting. Uh, I went ahead and turned it off just because uh, I already have a PIN code on my phone, so I didn't feel the need for another PIN code. So I went ahead and turned that off. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. Some people may want that. 
uh, radius server here so this is where we actually have our vpn configuration right here um, when you first go in here you know we've already got one built but if you didn't have one built here you would simply right click and select add client um, it would have you create a vpn passcode and put in some basic server info here uh, as you, we go down the list here, here's the section for telling it what you want to do with Windows login. So this would be basically uh, as people log into their computer, they would have to get a separate pin code from their cell phone app to log into their computer. So a, a second layer of uh, passcode in addition to their Active Directory username and password. And then kind of same thing here in the remote desktop section where somebody uh, remote desktops to a computer, Again, they have to get a six digit pin code from their cell phone from the ESET secure authentication app on their cell phone. And uh, they would have then that second layer of authentication. From the user perspective, you do uh, configure this per user. So like if I look at my user account here and I go to properties, I'll show you what that looks like. So you'll notice that I have a new tab within my Active Directory called ESET secure authentication. All right, uh, what this, first of all, what this relies on is in your Active Directory setup, you need to have uh, people's cell phone in their telephone number field, okay, because ESET communicates with the person via text messages on their cell phone, and so the server application needs to be able to send the user a text message. So if I go back to the ESET uh, tab here, you'll see that I can then check mobile application as this user's uh, way of getting uh, two-factor authentication. You'll see I had that checked here. And then you can send the application to the user. So the way that works is when I click send application, it sends me a text message. It says, here's a link to go download the application from your mobile client app store. You then click on that link download the application it's a very quick and easy download and then once you have that the application is called ESET uh, secure authentication you can open the app and it will give you a randomly generated six digit code uh, on a rotating basis so it'll generate a new code every time you you hit the app so let me kind of show you how that works kind of in in real life here so if I open up my VPN connection tool here in Windows 10 I'm going to go ahead and disconnect Okay, so now I am disconnected from my VPN. I will go ahead and hit connect. I'm now prompted to put in my domain Active Directory credentials here. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And then you'll see that I'm going to be greeted to see I have a second password box here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the six digit code that I'm getting from my ESET secure authentication app and voila. So just to VPN in there, I had to put in my Active Directory username and password and the six digit code that I got from the ESET app. I am now successfully VPNed back into, uh, back into our network. So I could have that same functionality to logging into my computer uh, locally. I could have that same functionality logging into my computer via remote desktop. Um, even though we didn't install it in our example here, we can add that to Outlook Web Access, SharePoint, a uh, variety of other uh, variety of other apps. So very, very cool way um, of uh, adding two-factor authentication. And as most of you are probably seeing, I mean, Microsoft has added a ton of two-factor authentication stuff to like their uh, live.com accounts, their hotmail.com accounts. Um, Google's added a bunch of two-factor authentication to uh, a bunch of the Gmail stuff and Google Apps for Work, things like that. So two-factor authentication is becoming more and more commonplace in today's IT world. And so it's, it's something that if you're not using right now, you can uh, be rest assured that in the next five years, two-factor authentication will become a commonplace application for a ton of different providers. And we're seeing more and more people um, put this on Windows-based networks as just a normal everyday uh, everyday thing to, to add extra security to their network. And I just love the simplicity of this uh, product and just how easy it is for even novice users to get used to using. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, ESET does offer a 30-day trial of the program. So um, 
you know, if, if anybody out there is interested in trying out the program for 30 days, we'd be happy to, to help you get set up with it. Very cool, very easy to set up. And uh, as usual, ESET uh, always makes great software. Okay, guys, thanks uh, for listening. And uh, we'll be back soon with another video.